Ready? All right. Go. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. We could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun Or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene Under a canvas of blue I would draw ever nearer to you To feel the dew on your skin That is how it would begin For summer is for falling in love We could stay out late Until the sun sets past eight And the cotton candy haze Mirrors the warmth of your gaze Raise your glass to mine And as we drink Guys, so we could disregard the thought of ever having to part. For Hello, my guys. Hello, my guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Monday. It is 6.57 a.m. I'm about to head into F45. I'm filming another video today, so there might not be too much footage from today, but I'm excited for the week. Tomorrow's gonna be very exciting, but I need to get inside. I'll chat to you after. Okay, I just got done with my workout. Um, if you are interested in the calories, that was a really good session. If you're not, you can just skip this part. Um, we did 257 active, 304 total calories. I'm gonna drive home, have a shower, and then make my breakfast. For falling in love. Like the last breath of a sunset right before the day is dead but maybe the heat of today could keep even winter away so hello 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 good morning guys happy tuesday i'm having some muscle nation destiny fat burner it was a pre-workout i haven't been having like my oxy shred just because i was concerned i was breaking out my skin but i just felt like having it today and you know i'm gonna live my life so i'm wearing the brand new stacks seamless collection today in the blue color i slept with my hair in braids last night and it was slightly damp so i'm gonna have like kind of curly hair today i think but yeah we're gonna do gym session and then i'm gonna get ready and go head off to do a q a with georgia and i'm so excited i haven't seen her since my 21st birthday party because her and rachel came to that so it's been a while so i'm very excited to see her and just chat about life because i feel like we're very similar we were both single we both love the gym both full-time youtubers like georgia lives probably about an hour from me i'm so mad we don't live closer because that would be so good but yes but i've got my crime junkie podcast to listen to on the way there so i'm very keen for that and probably on the way back i might stop in to get some groceries all right i'm gonna head in and i'll talk to you up okay so i'm home now from the gym i took my hair out of the braids and it's nice and curly my memory card's got three minutes left. Definitely gonna have to delete some stuff. This is what I'm wearing. My bodysuit is from, I need to clean my mirror, but I'm out of breath. My bodysuit is from 
white fox and then these jeans are my levi jeans they're a little bit big for me now but i just wanted ooh, the light i kind of just want something like comfy and then these sunglasses are from princess polly but yeah gonna head off now i also got in a package from elite stops yesterday which i will unbox for you guys when i get back I'm so excited to film with George. I feel like it's going to be so much fun. So Hello, guys. I'm here with Georgia. If you guys haven't seen any of her videos, I will leave her channel listed down below. I'm sure a lot of you have. I feel like we have a lot of the same things. Yeah, I think so. so. Today, we ask questions on our Instagrams, which I will leave that down below as well. Just ask us questions about, like, literally anything, gym, boys, life, like, whatever. And I'll answer some of them on mine, and then we're going to answer some of them on George's channel as well. So. Okay, how do you stay consistent with eating and gymming? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's not easy. No, it's not. Um, I think because they see us like wake up and they're like, oh, yeah. it's so, so, so easy. It's so easy, but it's definitely not. Mm. But I feel like this is the answer to everything. But like if you're disciplined yeah. enough and like behind discipline, if you're like determined enough, like when you, you know, have a goal. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel not like you're going to wake up and be like, I'm going to do so well today. Like that yeah. just doesn't happen. Yeah. It's definitely of, like everything in life. Like it's so hard in the beginning. Mm. And then you almost get like over that hump. What do they say? Yeah, it takes it's like, like 18 days to form a habit or something. Yeah. Or something like that. Like, cause yeah, now it's just habit. Mm. Some days you don't even think about it. Yeah. And then some days it's something that yeah. you think about. <laughs> exactly. Some days you're like, nah, I really don't feel like doing it. And then if you do miss one day, that's all right. Like, yeah. But you got to find ex um, exercise that you like as well. Yeah, I was going to say, you kind of got to make like the lifestyle something that you enjoy so it's not such a drag. Yeah. So you kind of wake up and you're like, oh, no, I'm like excited to eat these meals that I've made and like excited to move my body. Yeah, because like I love F45. Yeah. You love your like weightlifting and everything, which I want to actually get back into. Like I personally don't like going to a gym. Yeah. And like just being like, all right, do your own thing. Yeah, like I fun. feel like I need someone telling me what to do. Yeah. Otherwise I'm like. Rachel told me that um, you used to lift heavy weights like back in the day yeah kind of not like heavy heavy but like yeah i would do like squatting and stuff yeah like, at the gym it wasn't anything like fancy but yeah. find something you enjoy because yeah. if you don't enjoy it you're not gonna stick to it exactly what did isolation slash covid mm. teach you that's a good one corona definitely got my love of like fitness back do you know why I don't know, I think I just kind of got fed up. Yeah. I was like, not that I thought like, oh, I hated the way I looked or anything mm. like that. But I was just kind of like, I'm, I don't feel my best. Yeah. So I was just kind of like, well, now's the now's best the time. time yeah. Really. I feel like that's the theme of isolation though. Like now's the time. If you're yeah. not going to do it now, when are you going to do it? What's, what did it teach you? Um. Well, I had a few weeks off my job. Oh, when it was like right. really bad and so i had the opportunity to just work for myself and then i was like oh yeah this is a thing that could happen oh it and... took me so long <laughs> to like finally it's take terrifying. the leap into youtube full time it's terrifying yep it is but obviously so worth it yeah and like worse comes to worse yeah like i'm just like every day i'm just like what, what's the worst thing that can happen like it doesn't work out and i just get another job like yeah literally i did it like little by little i love how i'm just completely gone on to like <laughs> completely all right we're gonna ask the youtube full-time question now <laughs> but i feel like i was like at uni working and youtube i did uni half time yeah then i got rid of uni then i like slowly like because i was always like oh like what if what if what if yeah but like if it does there are always so many options. Mm. Especially in this day and age too. Did you find it weird telling people? When people ask what you do, you just say, I work in social media. Um, at the moment, I keep saying I work in hospitality and I'm yeah. just like going along with my little lie. Oh, I <laughs> um, still... Depends who it is. It depends if they're going to like yeah. be in my life for a long period of time. Yeah. Most of the time I'll just say I work in... Like mm. I still sometimes say, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm a uni. Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly. If you weren't doing YouTube as a career, what would you like to do? I feel like I get that one all the time. Yeah. I'd probably be at uni, because well, I started off doing psychology at uni. Yeah. And then I'd probably be at uni doing something to do with like business or kind of communication. And then I feel like I would be doing something to do with social media. Yeah. Whether that's like in front of the camera or like the marketing. And the yeah. Side of it. I honestly have no idea. I think that's why I'm doing it because I just, mm. I don't know, like I got my hospitality job because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. And then YouTube started picking up and I was like, oh, well, I'll just try this. Yeah. And then I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, but I think that's okay. Um, I feel like it's so common nowadays to have like so many different. Plan. Yeah. You don't really, really, I feel like, yeah, in high school, I was like, I need to know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Go to but uni, it's like, get a full-time job. Stay yeah. there forever. But like, 
people have so many jobs over like the whole span of their life so mm. I'm not too stressed about it yeah that's good I've definitely learned to become less concerned about like what are you gonna do when you it's like I don't know I'll cross that bridge when I come yeah to exactly so I said how did you guys become friends well kind of through Rachel yeah because I I messaged Rachel on Instagram once like because I found her through her um story time one about the really yeah and then I figured out that she lived in Brisbane really? was it just recommended to you yeah it would have been that's so weird yeah and I was like oh I think it was like 2018 I messaged yeah. her I was like oh, I just I love your videos and then I think we all had we there the first no, time I wasn't Whoa, okay we all had me Millie which used to be on my channel before Georgia Kate and Rachel we had like breakfast somewhere and then we just kind of like met up throughout the years yeah I feel like we would hang out a lot more if we lived closer yes unfortunately <laughs> we live like a solid hour away from each other we're like it's yeah fine. opposite ends of Brisbane <laughs> yeah how's the single life no. Are you ready for a relation? The single questions. Ooh. I've only had one serious mm -hmm. relationship, really. And people always like, oh, why? Like, why are you single? Why? <laughs> and I'm like, um. <laughs> At the end of the day, it is very cliche. And just like when it happens, it's going to happen. Yeah. Did you watch my psychic thing? How the lady gave me a reading? Yes. Apparently, it's going to be like next year. Surely. I know. Right, well, people are like, oh my God, you're going to meet them when they build your house. <laughs> Surely. I'm like me just hanging around. <laughs> I'll just drive by when I'm training you building your house. <laughs> we did though. I used to be a very dependent person. Like when you were in your past relationship? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like Corona's also made me a lot more independent. Mm -hmm. Like this time last year, I definitely wasn't as independent as I am now. Like, yeah, I will go pretty much anywhere, like on my own, mm. which is nice. And it's nice when you're single because you don't have to rely on anyone. Yeah. And part of me is like, Farah, if you get into a relationship, like, now you have to like, consider, consider them someone else? in your plan. I know. Like, no. Isn't that so funny, though? <laughs> it is. Some days is harder than others, and you think, yeah. damn, like, why? I don't know. I feel like with that, you really can't force it. Can't force it, no. You really can't. And I think it makes it ten times harder because of corona, because we both work from home. Um, <laughs> Literally, how do you meet someone? How, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> How and did like, you choose me? My closest friends, like both or most of them, met them yeah. when they were like 15. And I was like, I've clearly missed that opportunity. Yeah. So Like, I don't think it's a bad thing, but I am quite picky. Like, I yeah, have Yeah, no, I think that's good. Like, I feel like I'm very content with everything. Yeah. So I'm just like, if you don't meet, like, what I'm after, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Then no. Like, and um, like, if you're trying to force it to happen, oh, yeah, exactly. then you're most likely just going to settle. I have, like, I have so many friends who are getting married, and I'm just like, I look at that, and some days I'm like, I couldn't think of anything worse than getting married right now. Mm. And then some days I, like, want to cry because I'm so lonely. So, like, it's very hit and miss. Oh. But most days I'm fairly content. And like you said, yeah. like, I feel like I've become so independent in the past, like, year. Yeah. Um, where I'm almost like... That's definitely going to get in the way Yeah, <laughs> finding someone. How do you take pictures on the gram, like alone or at mm -hmm. home? See, I don't have anyone to take my photos. I feel like I just use a tripod. Yeah, but you're so good at that. Really? Oh, no, I think it's great. One thing I do now is take a video. Oh, and then pause it. And then it? screenshot the yeah. video. That actually works quite well. Yeah, very easy to pose and it's a bit quicker. And because when you use this self timer, it takes like 10. Yes, and you're like, I Which is kind of good, but sometimes it's too much. Yeah. I'm so bad at taking photos. And like, it frustrates me so much. And like, I'm taking them and I'm like, I know that these aren't going to turn out. And so I can't like... Because well, I feel like if the lighting is not good... Yeah, then you... You're screwed. Yeah. Like today, for there's no chance. Yeah, no. Like the front all. camera just can't do it. It couldn't. What is your favorite activewear brand? Oh, tough. That is tough. I feel like I have like certain collections. Well, you like each. them for different reasons. Yeah, I feel like I'm like that. Yeah. Overall, probably Gymshark. Yeah, I yeah. think Gymshark is very good. Yeah, yeah. Kind of just has like everything you need, really. Yes. And I always thought the Gymshark was so expensive, mm. but it's actually fairly reasonable. Yeah, I would say Gymshark's definitely up there. Have you tried Stax? I haven't. Stax Every time I see good. you in Stax, I'm like, mm. Stax is really good. I'd say Gymshark and Stax are my yeah. my number two, number two, top two. <laughs> Do you ever find F45 or group fitness intimidating? How do you overcome that? Mm. Yeah, when you first start, it's yeah. so intimidating and you're like, ah. But yeah. with everything in life, like the more yeah. you do it, the easier it gets. Yeah, I would definitely say that. But if you have a friend to go with, yeah. even if it's like a seven day trial, 
get them to come with you for yeah. that trial just so you can like like I think my mom came with me to like my first couple <laughs> F45 that. classes yeah. I would definitely rec- say that do a trial um I bought egg whites yesterday so I can try oh, your pancakes finally yay. um I go every week and I look for them and they were never there but I finally got them yesterday the yesterday. the frozen ones yeah yep because people are like where are they and they're in the freezer section yes I don't think my woolly stocks them but I went to Coles and they had them so oh so yeah yeah so much protein. So much protein. How do you become more confident in yourself and your body? Mm. I mean, it's, I feel like you could look at the most, Kendall Jenner would have, feel bad about her body. Yeah. On some days, you know? And I think just because someone else looks a certain way, that doesn't mean you look bad. No. It doesn't take away from your beauty. Yeah. Like, everyone's so unique and it's, it's so cliche, but you really just have to like own it. Yeah. Just, <laughs> I always just say fake it till you make it. Yeah. Because like, once you fake your confidence enough, mm. you end up just not even thinking about it and just yeah. like, being confident. And, like, no mm. one – if you're concerned about, like, if what other people are thinking of you, no one's thinking of you. They're all thinking about themselves. Yeah, exactly. But, like, oh, I would be lying if I was like, oh, I'm so confident every single day. Like, no. Every day I wake up and I love myself. Yeah. Like, no. no. <laughs> it's it's definitely, like, a you got to work on it and, yeah. like, just accept, like, okay, today if I'm not feeling the best, just, like, okay – Tomorrow is a new day. Mm. Like, ooh, what do you look for in a partner slash relationship? <laughs> Humor. Yeah. Funny. I need someone to make me make laugh. laugh. That yeah. is the, probably the biggest one. Um, I don't know. Tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> yeah, just about to say tattoo with my own arms. <laughs> yeah. A vibe with someone is really important. Yeah. I envision myself with an older person. Mm-hmm. I think I do too. I just, the type of person that I am, like, I'm quite, like, I mean, I'm not mature, but like, I don't know. I just, I, mean, I just compared to like, some other people, I would say, yeah. Mature, like, know what you want. Yeah, I definitely know what I want, and I'm not, I, like, I won't waste my time with someone. Yeah. If that sounds harsh, I don't know. No, I don't think so. But what do you, you like a trainee? Um, I would like a trainee. Christian just, trainee. Just, it'd be very helpful, just like the fixing. Yeah, things. 100%. Um, I think mainly because my dad and my brothers just know how to fix anything that happens. And, yeah. Um, but again, <laughs> Yeah, no. I'm also like stressed yeah. because if I don't find a tradie and he like if I get a boyfriend who's not a tradie, everyone's gonna be like, um Rude. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Disappointed. But yeah, preferably a tradie, like physically, like tall and like pretty mm. buff. Like even though I'm in the gym. so small, I want someone who's like six foot. <laughs> yeah, <three>. like <laughs> Yeah, literally. I'd love to like go to the gym and like lift weights with yeah, him. Which is such like a specific vibe. thing. So that's just what I envision yeah but yeah funny i think definitely mm. mainly because like just outgoing funny and outgoing yes i feel like because i can be quite shy yeah so if they're shy it's it gonna just, be all the shyness awkward. what have you learned from 2020 mm. mine is definitely like don't rely on other people to do mm-hmm. things that you want to do yeah that's such a big thing yeah and it's freeing yeah it's really freeing i feel like i've learned so much yeah <laughs> i've learned that I'm like more capable than I thought I was. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I just kind of switched and like, oh, I can literally do anything I want. Like, yeah. I like that quote where it's like, you've gotten through 100% of all your bad days. Yeah. How good. No matter how bad things could get, you're like, we're going to come out the other side. Yeah, you always it's do. It's always, yeah, you always do. And it's like, how often that you, like, if you're anxious about something, and it's like, when did, when does that bad thing actually happen? Or if you like work up a scenario in your head, you're like, has that ever happened? Yeah, no. Literally. Does anything even come close to that? Yeah, yeah. Why haven't both you beautiful girls got partners yet? <laughs> I wish I could tell you. I know, if I knew. <laughs> How many hours a week do you work? What's your work schedule like? I was actually going to ask you this really? today. Because I am struggling to like find a routine. Yeah. Because I just feel like I have so much going on all the time that I don't know when to actually like sit down and work. I literally couldn't itemize how many hours, but mm. I feel like for us, our lives are our job. Like, yeah. we are our job. Even if it sounds trivial, but like posting a photo, filming us making our breakfast, doing all that is working. Yeah. Which sounds dumb. It doesn't even feel like I'm working to me, you know? Because sometimes I can make myself feel like I'm being really lazy. Yeah. Even though. I'm not. Yeah, you get to the end of the day and you're like, oh, did I do any work? But, like, technically you worked all day. Do you, like, switch off at night? Or do you sometimes? Yeah. yeah. I try to. Like, I don't really film vlogs at night time. Yeah. One, because, like, my family's around. Mm-hmm. And it's just, yeah, I would I would get burnt out. Yeah. Like, I'm the type of person, like, I'll get overwhelmed. So I just can't. Yeah. And I'm but are you on your phone? To... Like, when you're not 
working. Yeah. Do you feel like... Because I just find myself constantly, like, replying to comments, replying to yeah. DMs all the time. And I'm like... Yeah. I feel like it's harder than people think, yeah. but I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah. Like, there's pros and cons to every job. Exactly. That you do, so... The biggest thing for me is... Was creating that, this is my office. And yes. this is, like, my home. That mm-hmm. has been the best, which obviously is not always possible. Yeah. But if you can, like, even if you can create, like, an office space. Yeah. It's so helpful. And getting out of the house to edit is always good. Yeah. I feel like if I get bored, I just, like, take my laptop with me wherever I go. So, like, oh, like, I'm sick of editing in the office. I'm going to edit on the couch. And I'm going to edit the dining yeah. table. And then I'm, like, going to edit here. I'm, like, mm. <laughs> Okay, that is all the questions that we'll answer. We're going to answer them on George's channel now. So if you want to see what we chat about over there, then I will... Because will you upload your vlog on the Tuesday or the Monday? Um, it'll... I honestly have no idea. Okay. <laughs> it, it might be linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A. And I'll probably see you when I'm at home. Oh, 32 minutes. <laughs> Hello, guys. Alrighty, so I'm... Almost, not almost home, but I'm on my way home but from George's house, George and Rachel's house. That was really, really fun. It was, it was really nice to chat to someone else about YouTube because obviously I don't really have too many people around me who are kind of like my colleagues, do you know what I mean? Um, because YouTube's not a very common job. But anyway, I'm gonna pop into the supermarket just to pick up a few pieces. I wanna get all pizza bases. I'm so hungry. Um, I forgot to bring with me like a protein bar just to have because I'm starving right now. It's one o'clock, but I'm nearly home, so it's all right. But I'm gonna make pizza when I get back and then get stuck into some work. I've got quite a bit of work to do. My weekly vlog still hasn't been approved yet. And I'm getting a little bit stressed because it's one o'clock and it's Tuesday. Worst comes to worst, it will have to go up on Wednesday. Just hoping that it gets approved, but yeah. But I will chat to you guys when I get home. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. It is currently quarter past 9 a.m. I'm about to head out to Zarafa's to get a coffee just because I feel like I haven't had an iced Zarafa's coffee from Zarafa's in ages. Even though I've got a coffee machine, perfectly fine. And I had a coffee from Zarafa's yesterday because Georgia got me one, which is so lovely. But I just feel like going through a drive-thru, buying a coffee. Do you, like, does any, am I insane or is that like a thing that's just comforting for my soul? I don't know, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've already gotten some content this morning out of the way, submitted, which is great. The weekly vlog went up yesterday, thank God, because it was approved, so that's all good to go. And I think I'm gonna go drive by my house, because I think some of the frames are up. I don't know if there'll be tradies there, because it's obviously morning, but that is super exciting. So yeah, let's go get coffee. I'm gonna get an iced um, milk latte. It's been a while since I've ordered that from Zarafa's, so. Very excited. I'm in the Zarafa's drive-thru. This feels very weird. I feel like I haven't been in this drive-thru in a very long time. There's so many cars and I think, oh my god, this is such a waste of time to be in the drive-thru. I don't know. I really need to get a Zarafa's keep cup. But I don't know if they're doing them because of Corona. It's our turn to shine, ladies and gentlemen. Could I please get a tall almond milk iced latte? Uh, poor almond milk iced latte. Yes, thank you. Yeah, and any other food or drinks today? That's everything. Ooh, yes. It's sunny. There's just something about a Zarafa's coffee from Zarafa's that just hits different. You remember when I literally got a Zarafa's coffee at least once in every single vlog? I'm kind of glad that I've stopped doing that, to be honest, because it saves me a lot of money. But it's Frey's birthday on Sunday. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I got her a facial voucher um, to get a facial, which I feel like would be nice. But I also kind of feel like I should get a, a Zarafa's gift card. I feel like that would be quite good. Ah! How have I not broken this camera yet? I don't know. I feel like a Zarafa's gift card would be such a nice little present. Hello. Thank you. That's why I'm so magnetic. Thank you very much. Coffee! The car next to me is definitely judging me. Anyway, I'll chat to you guys later. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. It is 6.44 a.m. I need to get going to the gym. This is what I'm wearing. My mirror is here because I was taking photos. I'm wearing the Stax collection in the green color. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this one is called because they've got like special names. I think is this Jade. So nice. And then these are just like Adidas shoes. I don't wear these for cardio because they're not um, like supportive enough, but for weights, they, they're they fine. So let's get going. I'm 
Right, so very, 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 very small grocery haul. I picked up some hand wash, but I put that in the bathroom downstairs. Some blueberries. Some, <gasps> no, I got some cucumbers and one of them has been like snapped in half. Ooh. And some jelly white. I haven't had any for a while, so it was on sale, so I got strawberry is my favorite. I'm just gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit because it's very messy. And then I'm gonna make my pancakes and get stuck into some work for the day. Okay, so I've currently just popped on some tan remover. I'm filming like a pamper routine. That's loud. I'm filming like a pamper routine, so I've just popped on a shirt. But I got in a really cool package. Oh my gosh. From Too Good Yogurt, which I've seen a few like Jazz, um, Georgia. Oh, my hair looks crusty. They DM'd me on Instagram saying, hey, we'd love to send you some yogurt. And I was like, hell yeah, I love yogurt. Um, so they've sent a whole bag. Oh, I'm keen. So I've got about 400 yogurts in here. So we've got peach. Ooh, and the macros are really good. 75 cows, 11.3 protein, 3.3 carb, 1.7 sugar. Oh my God, stunning. 100% having one of these is a snack. Mango, cherry, oof. I don't know how I feel about cherry. I'm not a cherry gal, like a mixed berry. Such good macros. There's a vanilla. What else? No way, there's salted caramel. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna have one of these for desserts, surely. Surely. Thank you so much, Too Good Yogurt. Wow. I love how they've just sent it in a bag. I love that. Oof. I don't, I'll let you guys know um, which flavor I like because I probably will have one of these a day, knowing me. There's honestly so many, like look. Look at them all, they're all in there. While I'm here, I may as well also show you my Elite Subs order that I got in the other day. Okay, so my code with Elite Subs is Connor10. Love Elite Subs, I get all my supplements from there. So I've got a few proteins because, because my skin has been breaking out a little bit. I wanted to try like a vegan protein or a plant protein. I used to be obsessed with the Prana Power Plant Protein. Um, this is in the Himalayan salted caramel flavor. I have, I've tried this and it is really good. Um, I'm definitely not gonna only have plant protein, like, because at the end of the day, if I have a couple breakouts, like, it's not that big of a deal, so I'm gonna eat what I wanna eat, and I love trying different proteins. So I also got the Ice Away Zero, which is really nice, and this is tiramisu flavored. I don't know about you, but I froth tiramisu. Um, and I've had this, it is really good. It's not as like strong as the other ones. Like I feel like this is one that I'll have to have like with a banana, so it's a bit sweeter. But if you like tiramisu, she slaps. And of course, we can't have an Elite Sucks haul without some smart protein bars. I literally get a box every time because I just love trying all the new flavors. This one is really yum too. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. They're honestly amazing. I need to have one today. 185 cows, 20 protein, 2.1 carb, smart protein bar, of course. Like, I feel like this is my second favorite behind salted caramel. I really like this one. Um, I also got a little shaker, which is actually quite cute. Just looks like that because honestly, in this household, you can never have too many shakers. Oh, why does that smell like fire? My brother's using them, I always use them, so another shaker definitely doesn't hurt. And then I've got some adrenal switch upstairs, which I will grab. What else did I get? Oh yeah, and then I got another protein powder, which is in chocolate hazelnut from Muscle Nation. It is so yum. I'm just gonna take some of this upstairs and I'll show you. Okay, so I got the, I love Muscle Nation protein powder. Like it's probably one of my favorites. This is the chocolate hazelnut. I had this yesterday and it was so good. Wow, very keen for that. I go through protein powder so quickly. Like I probably have a protein smoothie every single day. So I definitely use this. <laughs> and then I also picked up some adrenal switch, which I had the salted caramel one, 
which was hella. You can't even see me. The salted caramel one was is like so sweet. Like you only need a tiny bit. This is the chocolate one. Um, I love having this as like dessert because it, it's an adrenal switch. So it's just good for like muscle recovery and kind of helps me relax. I love mixing this with the before you speak mocha um, decaf coffee as well. That's really nice. I think I like the chocolate one more than the salted caramel just because it's not as like sweet, sweet. So yeah, that is my Elite Sups haul. Feel free to use my code. But yeah, I'm gonna, how long have I got a time off my tan? I've got five minutes left. I've got like that Bondi Sands tan remover stuff on. It's not very good, but it helps. <laughs> and I take all the help I can get. He smiled as he said, girl, you need to understand. everyone it is sunday today uh did i vlog yesterday friday and saturday i haven't been vlogging purely because i feel like i know i knew today um that it would be like a big vlog day because it's freya's birthday today and we're doing something fun for it we're gonna go to this like little restaurant place that's doing like a little bit of a sunday sesh vibe we're gonna go to that i'm at the gym just because i didn't go to the gym on friday and i just felt like going to the gym today because it's a weights on a sunday i'm sure if i can tuck this picture so that's what I'm doing, but my battery is dead <laughs> as I'm filming this. Okay, so I just finished up at the gym. Uh, my camera died, but I just went and got Freya a coffee. I got her, she gets an iced vanilla latte. Got myself one as well. Tastes so yum. So, because it's her birthday, so I'm gonna go pick her up now and I'll try and film her like opening my presents that I got her. So. I'm excited. All right, I'll see you guys when I'm at home. Okay, so I've just done my makeup. I've just popped my hair in a bun because I think I'm going to do like a slick back bun today just because it is really, really hot and I can't be bothered to wash my hair. Freya's just spraying her outfit. But I'm going to give her her presents now. So I'm going to put set the camera up so you can watch unboxing. I didn't get you a card. I don't even. I feel like I am your card because we live together, so... You just don't have to like Beautiful. think about it because no, you've got that. For the cup. I'll be on. A little bit shade? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Should I get your little facial? Love that for me. Yeah. Wow. Well, so so I like it. picked one, but you can like exchange it for the same value if you want. Um, but yeah, I got the clear complexion. Thanks so much. Yeah, I feel like a facial is just nice. You yeah. don't really buy yourself facial, like a good facial. She bougie brand too. Mm. She bougie bougie. Yeah. I, I want to get one of these too. No, I, I was like, just... <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, so right. Joe. Happy birthday, Queen. I said, thanks, big boy. He said, oh, good. Have a blessed day, girly. Cool. <laughs> PR unboxing. Go on. Yeah. My boss used to wear it. I think I told you my boss used to wear it. And she, I was like, what well, happened that? And she was like, I don't know how to pronounce it. And then I went to David Jones one day and just picked up a random her and just came on. Mm. I was like, <laughs> oh, she's so beautiful. Oh my god. Insolence. I'll be like your birthday perfume then. Yeah. Ooh. It's like floral but nice. I quite like that. You're like, is this the one? <laughs> I can't. Is it not it? I don't know. It's it nice. Is. Is it definitely is. Is it a fake? You know when it smells different than yourself? Yeah. Maybe there's like, you know how they have like the same perfume, but it might be like slightly different? But they're the exact same. Same. Same with it. But that's weird. It's the same. I mean, weird. It, it must be a different one. 
because I would just know it straight away. Yeah. Well, you'll have to, next time you go to like Karen, I'll go into David Jones and smell it. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. The dress is from City Beach. It's actually Freya's, so I'm not sure like if you can still get it or anything like that, but it's like a little white. I mean, it's probably meant to be midi, but it's definitely like quite long. It's got two slits on the side. And then I've got my hair in a slick back bun because I didn't want to wash it and it's super hot today. Like summer's seriously kicked into gear. And then I thought I would go with a red lip and some hoops. Don't really do that too often, but. I've also got these little kitten heels, which are from Princess Polly. Um, but yeah, I'll try and film a little bit at where we're going. Go do the full. Wait, mine's attached. Hang on. What's the point? You gotta like get, loosen it up. Alright, running out of battery here, girls. Okay, ready? Alright. It just tastes like the seat, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like, Where's mine gone? Where's mine gone? You swallow it though. You swallow it. <laughs> She's pulling gas! If, if Ray doesn't it. like it, I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> that is amazing. It's really dry. Yum. Thoughts. Nice. Thank you. I spilled coffee all down my shirt too. Can you see? Okay, that completes this week's weekly vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just editing it now. I really like this vlog. I feel like it's super fun. Where we went for Frey's birthday was so beautiful. I highly recommend if you live in the Brisbane area to go check it out. They've just launched what's called like the, their spritzy Sundays. Um, and it was stunning. It was like right on the water in Manly. Gorgeous. So I'll leave where we went down below. I look very orange in this lighting. But yeah, as always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you at my next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.